y'all welcome back to my channel my name is Shamika and this is check the rhymes I am super excited that you're here as always thank you for joining me so today is an exciting show because I love competition y'all BattleBots is back you know it's an amazing robotic competition to find out who is the best in robotic sports so make sure you tune in on Thursdays on Discovery Channel at 8 o'clock so joining me today, I have Chris Rose and Farouk Tahid, and we're gonna talk about what we can expect this season, and there's also a spinoff coming, so you don't wanna miss this because this is gonna be a great show. Stay tuned. <laughs> Welcome to Check the Rhymes, how are you? Doing great, thank you for having us. Yeah, so, yeah. you guys. <laughs> so, I'm gonna have to um, direct the first question to Chris. Can you tell me about the evolution of the bots this season? So uh, I think that's the great joy of returning for another season of BattleBots is you get to see, you know, who's making that leap? Who's ready to be the next big contender for the giant nut, which is the trophy that we give away at the end of the season to the eventual victor. And listen, mm -hmm. so much of society is changing. I mean, things change, it feels like every day in our world technologically. And so these are right. people who have been working on their robots for hundreds of hours, in some cases, years, fine tuning robots. And so, you know, you're willing to see uh, robots that are totally changing their tune. Like we've had one since uh, we came back in 2015, a robot named Chomp, which is engineered by Zoe Stevenson. And, you know, they've been kind of on the cutting edge of technology throughout the years. They've used this LIDAR which is something that enables them to swing their weapon without hitting a button because it can just feel mm -hmm. the other robot in front of them. Well, this year they're up in their game because robots are only supposed to be 250 pounds. Well, this year we kind of waived that weight limit uh, and now you, Chomp is 500 pounds because it is purely a walking robot. There's no wheels on it. So you have wow. to see this thing. It is, it is simply amazing. Um, and really, I'd, that's I'd say that's evolution thing. for real. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. When, listen, there's a lot of us that have doubled in size over the years, but here we actually <laughs> welcome it. Um, it's something like chomp. So you're going to have to tune in to see exactly how this thing works, because when I heard it was a 500 pound walking robot, I was like, oh, my God, this thing is going to walk in there and kill us all. As you can see, thankfully, we made it out alive. But it is Thank something goodness. To, yeah, to see and then believe. Awesome. Um, Farouk, can you tell me, um, I know that for a lot of like kids that are watching, they're trying to figure out, you know, what they want to be when they grow up. Right. So how do you think that this show BattleBots helps them determine like maybe some future STEM careers and, and what kind of outreach do you think that the show could also be doing? Well, I mean, that's, that's a great question. You know, I think, I think, Ultimately, when you look at it, you know, um, it's, it's, it's all about the kids, right? I mean, the inspiration mm -hmm. that this show gives out and that it delivers, I mean, not only to my own kid, he's 13 years old and he comes and he's so passionate and loves seeing all this stuff work and see how it works. Um, and, and, you know, we even have an 11 year old in our competition this year um, that actually mm -hmm. built the robot and is actually competing, fighting. And, you know, it's up to you guys to tune in and check out see if he, how much winning he does. But, you know, the, the, the STEM programs that are out there, you know, you see them emerge and it's really, really, really helpful for these kids. Because, you know, for me growing up, I didn't know about, you know, I grew up in the inner city. I didn't know about STEM programs and robotics and things like that. So having BattleBots on the TV screen and bringing it, you know, to the masses, whether it's on Discovery or on our new platform, Discovery Plus coming out in January 4th with our BattleBots Bounty Hunters, you want to have the opportunity for kids all over the world to be able to see this and to be inspired like our uh, bot builder, Tyler Wynn. So you're going to be able to have these kids out there doing their thing. And, you know, as far as the outreach is concerned, you know, for me, myself, whenever I get invited to go do things, you know, I, I, I'm out here in California and there's a STEM school in North Hollywood uh, last year that I did attend and, and I uh, actually did host their robotics program. And it was great to be there and see just all the different types of robotics going out there. I think robotics is the future and so are our kids. And so that's what BattleBots is bringing to the table. You know what, Shamika, just awesome. to kind of piggyback off that, one of the cool uh -huh. things that we've seen over the last few years with BattleBots is we have heard countless times from people. You know, when I was younger, uh, I came to see a taping of BattleBots 
and it inspired me to build a robot. Or we wow. were flipping through the channels and we saw this robot fighting competition. So we decided to sit down as a family and watch it. We had at least two or three competitors this year who, once again, they don't have a science or technology background in their blood. Mm -hmm. But when they sat down, they were inspired to try something and build a robot and compete. And it didn't matter to them whether or not they won or they got a shot at the giant nut, which is the trophy that we hand out at the end of the season. The fact that they wanted right. to build something, to do something as a family, uh, to you know reach the pinnacle of robot fighting competition, and that's to get an invitation to fight on BattleBots, that's something special. I mean, if you are just interested in doing it, and you say, um, you know, I don't have a history. We have a guy named Dave Eaton who built Rusty, and Rusty was on our season premiere last Thursday. And quickly, mm -hmm. overnight, it became an internet sensation. He built this thing on his parents' farm in Illinois based on junk that he found around the farm. So like mom and pop are like searching wow. for that salad bowl that she'd misplaced. Yeah, that was Rusty's <laughs> Yeah. Home. So it's just, that's- I love it. <laughs> if you have the passion for it, you can be a part of the show. That's it, I'm, I'm collecting all this junk that I was gonna throw out and yep. make a robot. I wanna thank you both for joining me here on Check the Rhymes today and I will definitely be tuning into BattleBots and I'm getting ready to get started on my robot because I'm coming for y'all next, next season. <laughs> I love it. Jamaica, thank you so much for the time. <laughs> Thank you. Have we'll a good one. We'll be looking for you. All right. All right. Y'all make sure you give me the nut. <laughs> <laughs> you got it.